It's our fifth show, so y'all already know what time it is. This is the show where we discuss the harsh realities within our culture. You may agree with us on some shit, or you may not think we know anything that we're talking about, but either way, we are blunt, relentless at times, and passionate about the culture. Today, we're discussing the most out-of-touch nigga in the universe. No need for me to say his name. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Birdman and Young Thug are under investigation. We'll finally rate the Carter Five album. Cardi B turns herself in. Dave V, Styles P are in the building to tell us about their brand new project, Beloved. And last but not least, we're introducing a brand new segment called Fuck Shit of the Week. And this week that happens to be designer punching a fan and Pooch Hall handing his two-year-old the keys to the car. No need for me to tell y'all. The cop said he was drunk. This is State of the Hey, everybody. So you saw that clip with Joe Button speaking on his new show, State of the Culture. And you probably also saw the illiteracy that is offset in the comments down below. And I'm just going to guess and say, I doubt if Joe Budden is frightened or threatened by anybody who wears blouses and nut huggers. I digress, though. Anyway, State of the Culture is a show on Revolt TV where Joe Budden basically moderates and it has Remy Ma and that loud, whiny, screamy, annoying ass Scotty Bean. I can't even really watch this show all the way through because she annoys the entire fuck out of me. She is so fucking hypersensitive. To me, she is like Twitter come to life, all right? And I can take Remy Ma in bits and pieces, but I personally don't think Remy Ma really should be on that show because she's still an entertainer, so she can't be, uh, she, she shouldn't be biased if she's still in the entertainment industry and she's trying to do this kind of show. But anyway, so... All Joe Button was saying is that he felt that Cardi B being at the status that she is right now, she needs to move different. He didn't say anything negative about Cardi B. Matter of fact, he loves Cardi B. All right. I've never heard him say anything negative about her. He's given her criticism because, again, he's a part of the culture that is now reporting on them. All right. He's not in the music industry that way anymore. And I really do respect his opinion about a lot of artists all right even when he says stuff about nikki me personally i thought he was right on point when he said that she was bugging out and she's kind of grasping for straws i didn't agree i didn't disagree with him to be honest with you but all he was saying was that cardi b needs to move different now that she has this status and the fact that she's a mother remember cardi b is out here having bitches beat up over her cheating philandering as husband and I guess we're supposed to look the other way by the fact that she makes good music to some of us me personally I have told you before I am not a stan I'm not a Nikki stan and I'm not a Cardi stan all right um I believe right is right and wrong is wrong that's what kind of stan I am all right so Cardi B recently did an interview in which she talked about the whole issue with Nicki Minaj. And she talked about how she was a mom and that she, some, you know, the fact that Nicki liked the comment and she unliked it really, really quickly, even though we don't still have any proof that that happened. And that was pretty much the reason why she pulled up on Nicki at that event. Basically saying it didn't matter where it was. She was gonna pull up on her because she shouldn't be talking about her. Let's remind everybody that Cardi B pulled up on Nicki Minaj at a high class event because of a comment she think Nicki liked. Again, this is out of uh, Cardi B's mouth. She liked it and she quickly unliked it. I want to tell you how stupid that is. And the fact that there are still people today that are okay with that kind of behavior from this woman. So my question to you is, when are you going to hold your fave accountable for her actions? I keep seeing all through the comments, and I'm assuming these are young people, that's all I can assume because I swear for heaven, if this is somebody over 30 or even 25, you need your ass whooped right now. For the most part, I see a lot of comments saying, well, she's still young. She's still young. She's still young. Well, God damn it, she just had a birthday. That makes her 26 years old. 
I hope you keep that same kind of energy for your 26 year old friends out here when they do stupid shit. I hope you say, well, you know, she's young. He's young. Let's be clear. We don't do that. When your ass is 18, for the most part, you grown. And this woman has a whole career, a whole husband, a whole baby. She has a whole house. God damn it, she grown. And she is grown enough to know right from wrong. And she is grown enough to understand that her actions could get her into a lot of trouble. So this whole, she's grown, she's still growing up. She's still growing up. Cardi B will tell you out of her mouth if you ever watched any of her interviews or any of the stuff that you've watched on Instagram when she, before she became Cardi B that we know. Cardi B always said how grown she was. So all of a sudden we're making excuses that she's not grown. She grown. She been grown. And people have got to stop making excuses. And the sad part is, I have said it before, it's black women who make excuses for her to act this way. All right. And please don't tell me that Offset was taking up for his wife. You know, he recently bought her a Lamborghini. And it was cute. And the gesture was amazing. But you know what? What's funny to me is that he can't get her the one thing money can't buy. He can buy her all the, the toys, all the cars without a license. She can't really drive. All the shit in the world he can buy her. But he can't give her the one thing that she probably want more than anything. And that is loyalty. He can't put a price tag on that. So he ain't gave it to her. Have you ever thought about that? And this woman is going out fighting or having other women beat up because her man can't keep his dick in his pants. Joe Button was absolutely right. He was right. Cardi B has to move different. She is at superstar status. I saw her um, performance last night. She killed it. And like I said, even though I'm not a Cardi stan, she killed it. And I would be a hater to say anything other than that. She looks beautiful in these pictures that I'm showing you. I am not hating on her. I just think that if you are going to keep giving her passes when she's 30 years old, are you going to keep saying, you know what, she's, she's, she still has to mature. She has to grow up. How about when she's 35 and she's still out here acting a fool? You're going to still say, she's growing up. She has to grow up. Cardi B, you have to, she has to grow up. She's still learning. God damn it, when does that stop? Because you know if she was a Cardi or, or Contessa or, or Barika, whatever, on the street, and she was 25 years old, getting into that kind of trouble, you would tell her she was grown. Your grown ass need to stay out of trouble. Your grown ass know better. So her grown ass knows better. She knows better. And you've got to stop allowing this. Your fave is going to end up with a felony that she can't get rid of if she keeps this up. Cardi B has a lot going for her. Whether you hate her or love her. Like I said, I don't hate Cardi B. I do think she's a bird. And that's a, my opinion. And don't come at me for my opinion. Just like you have your opinion about her, I have my opinion about her. I think she is a bird. And I feel sorry for young girls who think that this kind of behavior is acceptable. You think it's cute to be threatened, that, that he's threatening Joe Budden? Joe Budden didn't say anything wrong. He All he said, again, was that Cardi needs to move different. Cardi out here with a whole lot of opportunities and she is getting bags left and right. But if she wants, she's going to stop her own bags if she can't get it together. And that would be a shame. She needs to grow up. And if you are 25 years old out here fighting and carrying on like your fave, you need to grow up too because you're grown. You are not a baby. If she was 17, I would give her a pass. If she was 20, I might even give her a pass then because she's still young, yes. But you are 26 years old with all of this shit. A whole husband, a whole baby, a whole career, a whole house, and God damn it, she does need to move different. So lay off of Joe Budden. He's only trying to tell her right. And years from now when your fave is sitting at home and her career didn't go anywhere, it took off, and then it stopped, because she couldn't stop herself, that she had to read every little comment out there, then you will, will you keep saying she still needs to grow up or she still needs time? All right. <laughs> All right, then. Later, y'all.